So now in this video we're going to look at the photodiode. Right now the uh, photodiodes here are setting how much uh, current goes through the circuit including the LED. If I increase the uh, light level there you can see the LED got brighter and if I increase it even more you can see it getting brighter and we need more current. If I add even more light with my uh, headlamp there, there you can see current goes up. The LED does get brighter too but it's uh, being washed out by the light of the headlamp. So I had a current limiting resistor that set a limit if I use a lower value resistor here. So this is 100 ohm. The other one was uh, 200 ohms. We should have about the same amount of current. And uh, if I put the headlamp there, now you can see we have a maximum current that's about uh, twice as high. Now I'm going to uh, increase the voltage because our current limit was set by the voltage by uh, quite a bit and I do have current limited though to the power supply now if I put the headlamp up to them we hit the uh, limit I set from the power supply so we don't burn anything out uh, 20 milliamps of current but as you can see we got 10 volts we have probably the same amount of current flowing as when we lower it to a uh, 5 volts okay it looks like it's changing a bit maybe because the components warming up a little bit but uh, in any case, we have about the same amount of current, even though we changed the voltage by a lot. The current is being set by the photodiodes, for the most part, based on how much light they are being given, as long as there's enough power. So now, zooming in, we'll take a closer look. We got the LED here, of course. It has to be in the proper direction. Long lead, the anode, more positive. Short lead, the cathode, more negative, right there. And... We have uh, the two photo diodes right there. If I cover both of them, then the LED turns off because the current goes down. If I cover one, the uh, current goes down. So they're parallel, and so you'll get twice as much current for a given light. The long lead, the anode, though, is towards the more negative side. The short lead, the cathode, more positive side. The photo diodes are reverse biased, both of them right there. And I drew a schematic diagram. So as we saw, how much current flows through, ultimately how bright the LED gets in this case, depends on the photodiode. We can double it though by having uh, two photodiodes. Of course, they have to be pointing at the light exactly the same and whatnot. So they're not going to pass the same amount of current because if they're uh, facing uh, different directions or something, they'll get different amount of light. But in any case, for the same amount of light, you'll get two, month, uh, two times the amount of current as a single photodiode if you have two of them. Remember they are reverse bias, the cathode more positive, the anode more negative. For the LED to conduct you need it to be forward bias, anode more positive, cathode more negative as we saw before. So the resistor is going to limit current but that's based on its resistance and how much voltage you have at the power supply uh, minus how much is being dropped and that's if the uh, photodiode or the two photodiodes are trying to conduct more than what the uh, resistor will allow then it's going to limit current otherwise as long as you stay below whatever it's going to limit with its diode load right there then the photodiode is going to be what sets the current below that limit so hope that all makes sense thanks for watching check out one of the other videos i'm posting the screen and check out the link down below they all help out a lot i'll see you in the next video